and uh, we see the same Windows Phone emulator window here and now we need to add our user controls to that window. Now we need to build a solution so our uh, user control will appear in a toolbox. So we simply click the bug, build solution. Solution is now built. We open toolbox and we see our control here. We simply drag and drop it to our emulator window. We create three of those controls for each state. Okay, three controls are created. Now we check the name of those controls. This tic-tac-toe button one, tic-tac-toe button two, and finally tic-tac-toe button three. Now we push F7 and go to code behind. Now we are ready to test our states. There is a special class for Visual st State Management. It's called Visual State Manager and it has a method go to state. Uh, so we have first par parameter control, second parameter is the name of a state, and the third parameter in our case will be false. So control is uh, tic tac toe button one. State name will be default and false. Okay, now we simply have to copy same row for the second control. It will be tic tac toe button two. State will be cross. And for the third control, state will be not and now we'll build our solution and run the emulator by pressing F5. Once again the emulator is open opening very slowly so do not forget not to switch the emulator off. During the test, all of our free user controls should appear and each of those controls should have a different visual state. First will be default, that means nothing is displayed, second will be a cross and the third one will be a not. Okay, let us now check. Great. First one is default and nothing is selected. Second one is a cross and the third one is not. I think our user control is uh, ready. In my next tutorial I will create a game board and add the functionality to our tic-tac-toe game. So see you soon. Bye.